I'm ready to kill this bitch, y'all. I'm ready to do this shit, because I'm over this shit. I'm tired of bitches playing with me. I'm so sick of people playing with my intelligence. I've been loyal to this dirty-ass bitch, and she's sitting up here cheating on me. Slut-ass bitch. I done married this girl, embarrassed the fuck out of me. I should kill her, bro. Like, y'all really don't understand. I'm losing my mind. I've been trying to hold my composure. Shut the fuck up, bro. Okay. Shut up, bro. Okay. Like, on my soul, bro, I really think I really want to do okay. this shit. Like, I'm really thinking about really murdering this girl, y'all. Okay. Like, on everything I love. Like, I really feel like I'm about to kill this girl. Like, I'm losing my mind, bro. Like, people think it's a game to play with people's feelings. No! Yes, you do, bitch. Yes, you do. Like, what the fuck do I do to deserve this type of shit? Why are you playing with me? Why are you playing with me? Got comfortable. Got real comfortable letting a nigga reply to shit that I recorded off my page. Like, bitches be disrespectful, bro. And then when you lose your shit, everybody all like, oh, they should have been able to control their emotions. No, these bitches need to keep their fucking pussy in their fucking pants. These bitches worse than these niggas. These bitches be worse than these niggas. And then they try to tarnish your name and make it seem like it's you when it be them. It really be these hoes out here being slut ass bitches. You a slut. You a dirty ass fucking slut ass bitch. I want to kill this girl, y'all. Y'all don't understand, bro. Like, I really want to kill this girl right now. Like, y'all think it's a fucking joke, bro. Like, niggas think it's a game. This girl played with me all in my face. <laughs> want to sit up there and keep holding shit against me from our pegs. I'll pass. I ain't did nothing to this girl. Been good to her. Been giving her everything in the world. Treating her like a fucking queen. This bitch don't deserve nothing. She don't deserve shit. This dumb ass bitch over here. I'm dead serious. Like, she don't deserve nothing. She's a fucking crumb. On the floor. Like, I mean that shit. Keep trying to bitch me and disrespect me. And you sitting up here playing in my face. Talking to whole niggas. While we out on vacation. Let the nigga reply to my video that I recorded. How disrespectful can you get? Then she calling the nigga baby. All that. Shake your head again, bitch. I'll knock it on your motherfucking fucking chest. I swear to God. Keep shaking your head when you wrong. You dead wrong. And you still trying to make yourself feel good. You still trying to make yourself feel like you ain't do nothing. Like you ain't wrong. You, bro. I promise you, yo, if I don't get the fuck away from this girl tonight, I'm probably never going to make it back to Baltimore. Because I'm probably going to kill her. People think shit is a joke, and they think it's cool to play with your feelings and play with your emotions and shit. And then when you spaz out, everybody want to look at you like you so fucking cruddy. Bitch, I ain't did nothing but being loyal to you. Held you down. You were just in a whole fucked up ass situation. Couldn't call on your home. Homegirls. I came into that shit blindfolded. Gave you everything. Laid it all out. Changed my whole situation for you. For you to dub me. Because you want that get back. Because you a dirty slut ass bitch. You ain't never been loyal. You don't know what loyalty is. Want to know why? Because you was raised off of bullshit. That's why you fucked up for real, for real. You don't know what love is. I swear to God, yo. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do, yo. You saying this not you, but you did it. You did it. You did it. With your ungrateful, unappreciative ass. All you do is fucking sit around and bitch. I was gone for a whole week at the crib. You sitting up there off of work. You ain't wash a fucking dish. You ain't do shit. Sitting up there not doing nothing. Friday come around. I'm back off of school. I'm washing the dishes and shit. But I'm sitting up here kicking out all my money. Giving every little dime I make to you. And still making a way though. Still doing shit for you. Getting your nails done. Paying bills. Getting your hair done. Putting gas in your car. Giving you drugs. Fucking on you. And you do me dirty because you don't have no type of morals. Like, I'm going to air this bitch out because I promise you I need some help. I need help. I'm begging somebody to please help me right now. Like, y'all think I'm joking. Y'all think I'm joking. Like, I don't know what else to do. I'm in a whole nother place I, with people that don't even speak English. And this is happening to me. 
everything is happening to me. Like, what the fuck, bro? The one time in my life when I decided, oh, I, oh, that's my karma. But I thought I got that shit back from Brandy and Lauren, though. Because they dubbed me. They dug the shit out of me. So I try to do right by a bitch that I fucked over. But I should have never did that. Because she wanted her get back. Bottom line. She never fucked with me. Never fucked with me for real, for real. It was all a whole plot. Whole plot. Whole plot. Whole plot. Like, she plotted on me. Mind you, yeah, I just smacked the shit out of her. I don't give a fuck who see it. I smacked the shit out of her because I'm sitting up here showing her the messages and she's still trying to dictate. Like, the messages ain't black and white. Like, she can change the messages after I screen recorded the shit on my phone. Ain't even a screen record. This is a me pull my camera out, record her whole phone, so I got all the information. Mind you, after I gave the bitch her phone back, I snatch it back again. She down below on other messages all the way from back before we even start fucking with each other trying to delete other shit out her phone. Then when I first asked you about the nigga, she swore he was a faggot. He don't even like bitches. So I hit him up myself because I ain't no bitch ass nigga. What's up? Is he a faggot or not, bitch? He not gay, right, Diamond? Is he gay? Is the boy you was talking to gay? Please. Girl, stop Please. trying to act like you so scared. Please. Now you so... She's so Please. cat. Y'all see how cat she is, bro? Back to the last slide. You see how scared she acting? She's so scared. Where was all that fear when you was texting the nigga Please. in our bed? Where we laying at? Where was that fear? Please. Right, you embarrassed, right? You embarrassed? That's what it is. Please. You embarrassed? Please. You embarrassed? Please. You embarrassed? Why you wasn't embarrassed for embarrassing your relationship? Please. Where was the embarrassment when you was embarrassing your relationship? I'm embarrassed! I'm embarrassed! Right. I'm embarrassed! I'm embarrassed! Oh, right, right. She embarrassed. She's embarrassed. But where was that when you was doing the shit, though? When the nigga was laughing in my face because he know we married. Because he watched you like a hawk. Where was that at? Why you wasn't embarrassed about that? Make it make sense. These bitches ain't shit. That's the bottom line, bro. And this is proof. These hoes be fucked up. Everything that look good ain't good. And bitches try to make it seem like I'm so fucked up. You a dog ass. Now it's thank you so much, but you did it though. Thank you so much. You got all that to say. Why was you texting the nigga, Diamond? Tell everybody why you was texting them back. Make it make sense. Why? Why was you texting them? What did you get out of that? What did you get out of that? Making me wear your face on my shirt and shit. Clown. Clown. Embarrassing. Clown. Fucking clown. Wearing your name around my neck for what? Clown. Clown. Corny. Corny. Fuck am I doing all this for? For another nigga to be sliding in her pussy while I'm at work. Sliding on her while... She on break or something. Because she's so sneaky, you just never know when she's going to get fucked. She can text a nigga right in my face after I just posted a video of her. She can text him back calling a nigga baby. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. But let me even... These bitches be really cruddy. Cruddy as shit. Always hollering about how a nigga don't do this, a nigga don't do that. Bitch, what do you deserve? Don't even fuck good. What? Let's take it in. Bluffing ass. Wanna keep making me fuck on you. Do you get on top? Do you really fuck the shit out of me? Or I be don't fucking the shit out of you? Right, that, that's why you wanna talk to yo? Huh? That's why you was talking to yo? I just don't fuck good. What would you talk? You can say all that, but you still can't answer why you was talking to the nigga. You got all this shit to say, but you can't talk about why you was talking to bro. What made you respond to the nigga, Diamond? You promised me what? What made you text the nigga back? It was never nothing like that. It was never nothing like that. It was never nothing. Bro, I'm about to beat the... F I'm about to kill her, bro. Because she want to keep playing in my face. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Bitch want to keep playing. She act like she don't want to tell nobody. Why she was fucking with the nigga, talking to the nigga. So how about I just stab her up in this bitch? Really murder her since I'm so crazy. Now you want to hide in the bathroom. 
You don't want to talk about why you was texting the boy back. It was nothing. It was such nothing, but you was talking to him, calling him baby. You see how bitches move? All that bluffing shit. And if I take the risk and really take my life away for a dumbass bitch because I'm in my feelings, is that selfish? Is that selfish? Am I selfish or am I standing on business? Or am I standing on business? Because you a slut. Why you ain't think about that when you was texting the nigga? Bro. I promise How you a good person and you were just talking to the nigga last night? I promise that, oh God. What's good about you? What's good about you? Bro, if I I don't care because at the end of the day, you got to come out of the bathroom. I ain't going to do the most because I'm not going to make it hot. I'm smarter than that. But I promise you, the longer you take, the worse it's going to be for you, sweetheart. So either you face it or you don't. But either way, it's over. It's over for you, baby girl. And I mean that shit. I mean that. I mean that. Please. You started it though. You don't want to finish it. You keep Please. talking about why this happening to you. You did it. Please. Bro. Please. I want everybody to see this shit. Because I want everybody to have awareness of why niggas lose their mind on these dumbass females. This is why. And then she's sitting in the bathroom making it seem like I did something to her. Up here keep saying, why is this heaven? I'm a good person. What's good about you, baby? You ain't did shit good. You ain't did nothing good. But sit here and be an unfaithful ass whore. Then they want to paint a picture to the fucking media and the world and society that people is crazy. The dominant people is so crazy. When you bitches be out here being sluts, always got your fucking mouth open for a dick. Dirty ass bitch. Mind you, I let the shit go. We outside raid party, some nigga selling flowers. She all, let me buy Bay some flowers cause I fucked up. Oh, I straight told her out the grip, a hundred. Oh, I don't want no flowers, I want loyalty. I'm not loyal. No, bitch. How you loyal when you sitting up there like a nigga lust off of my shit? And you responding to it though. You ain't just leave them in the DMs, you had to reply. Then you added them to your close friends. You so petty, pressed ass, pressed. For a dirty ass West Baltimore nigga who ain't gonna do shit but nut in you and leave you for another dirty ass chicken box bitch. Fucking clown. Dirty, dumb, stupid. I hope to God that you get what you're asking for. If I can't kill this girl, bro, I promise you, I don't wish nothing good for her. I hope her whole rest of her life be nothing but misery. Yeah. Playing in my face. Playing in my whole face, like all over it. <laughs> like really, I, I, <laughs> bro. People think this shit a game, but I promise you, young. Only thing I keep thinking about right now is my daughter. Like, I keep thinking like, bro, you gotta be strong for her. You gotta go home for her. Nobody treat emperors like you. Nobody. My sister do a good job with my daughter. I promise you, she do. My sister and my daughter have the best relationship. But nobody is gonna love my baby like me. I've been there for my daughter through everything. My daughter been there for me since she's been here for everything. Right. If it wasn't for my daughter, bro, I promise you. Then yeah, mind you, look, I'm trying to kill the bitch. Up there, squeezing my leg in the door, all that dumb shit. She's a little heavier than me, but I'm still strong. But the thing is, earlier, when I told the bitch to get hit by a car, she had like, she ain't want to do that. Oh, no, she wanted to do that. Come on, just... So you ready to die? I like that. Now she accept the consequences and that's what I need. Because I don't want to feel guilty about what I'm ready to do. I don't want to sit in jail for the rest of my life and regret what I'm doing and make my daughter feel crazy like it was childish. Because she need me. 
But now that she admitting that she's wrong and stuff, I feel more comfortable. Like, I feel better. Because that's all I wanted. So now I don't feel crazy about what I'm ready to do. So, bro, mind you, I'm sitting here going through the bitch phone right now. This bitch done been texting hella niggas, bro. Telling niggas that they, that they, they can come put their face in her pussy. She mm -hmm. said, bitch, say something to me and I promise you I'll make you eat this phone. They keep trying to act like I'm not looking right in the phone at the messages. Like, what? Shit be crazy out here, bro. Like, I cannot really, like, people are fucked up. People are, I'm shaking right now. Like, I'm literally shaking, bro. Like, I really, like, I'm shivering. That's how upset I am right now. Like, I could barely even think straight. Like, people really don't understand. Like, I'm really quivering. My, like, I'm looking at my, I'm like, I'm really fucked up, bro. Bro, y'all can have this weak-ass bitch. All y'all niggas that she texting in these DMs, she single. Her dirty ass right here is single. When she get back to Baltimore, I hope all y'all raw dog the shit out the dirty bitch and give her STDs. Her dirty ass. Talking to every nigga in her fucking DMs with her dirty ass. And she married, though. Letting niggas disrespect the shit out of me. Such an embarrassing ass bitch. I wish I would have been dragging this whole time. Wasting my fucking time. With a dumb ass bitch. Y'all can have this bitch. Dirty, busted ass bitch. I don't know what good you're gonna get out of a bitch who married that's still talking to niggas. It's crazy. Like, that's crazy. But hey, this Baltimore, y'all do whatever. Dirty. Dirty as shit. But she's single, so she probably gonna really pull up now. Y'all ain't gotta keep texting in DMs. Just just let her know whenever, when you're available and all that. Cause she, she got time now. Yo. Check this out, right? <laughs> this shit crazy. Because first of all, this girl is crazy. Like, y'all don't understand. I just sent her messages of something that I, I found or whatever. Now, this girl trying to tell me that she got messages of me cheating. How did you... First of all, I never cheated. I don't cheat. I'm not a cheater. I cheated there yeah, when we was kids. 15 years ago, but since we've been together and got married and shit like that, and we've been back fucking with each other, I have never, ever, ever disrespected this woman. Never, never did nothing behind her back, never did nothing crazy to her. All the shit that I ever, like, put in for this girl, yo, is crazy, like, seriously. And it's, like, fucked up that she's trying to make it, like, I did something to her, yo, like, honestly. Mind you, I'm sitting up here. I'm just getting back to, off the plane or whatever, back to my city. I'm sitting up here looking at my phone, just, like, reading this shit for real. Like, because I didn't really, at, at a point, I'm just, like, so frustrated and shit. I can't really, what's, can't really understand what's really going on. You feel me? Like, so I'm not taking in all the shit. I'm just mad. You feel me? So... I can't even read y'all comments for real. Like, y'all talking too fast for me. Like, I ain't even reading this shit because I'm trying to tell y'all what's going on for real because I see that she posted on her page and I can't post on my page no more. I'm going to be a mediator. Like, they took my page already. It's, it's gone. So, basically, I just was going through my phone and I'm looking at the messages and shit. That other message was just when we just celebrated my birthday. But my birthday is Sunday. 